Today I'm joining you from Parkersburg Memorial Gardens to talk about the life of Mr. Richard Bowery of the 1st West Virginia Cavalry, Company C. He was born in 1830 in Monroe County, Ohio, the son of a German immigrant, Sebastian Bowery, and his wife, Elizabeth Scheich Bowery. In 1863, Mr. Bowery joined the 1st West Virginia Cavalry in Work County, and at some point during his time of service was wounded in the right leg per the 1890 Veterans Census. However, the story that I want to tell you about today has to do with the end of the war. In March 1865, the Battle of Waynesboro all but destroyed the Confederate force under General Jubal Early. Anyone who wasn't captured there scattered to the wind and fled to the hills and the surrounding areas. Uh, one of my other favorite regiments to talk about, the 36th Virginia, made their way as far as Christiansburg before they disbanded and went home upon hearing the war was over. But before we get to that point, in March 1865, Mr. Bowery here was detached by one of his superiors to take some men and go after some of these Rebs who had fled the battlefield. They made it as far as Charlottesville before they ran into a couple of Confederates, and they took them prisoner, but not only did they get Confederate prisoners, Mr. Bowery here captured a Confederate battle flag. It's been lost to history which regiment it belonged to, and I imagine that means that it was just a plain battle flag such as this one, with no special markings or anything, just a standard flag. And he received his citation on March 26, 1865 for capturing that flag. After the war, Mr. Bowery returned to Parkersburg, West Virginia, where he met his wife, Amanda, who was about 30 years younger than he was. We have a term for that that I like to call a cradle robber, but it's always meant lovingly, endearingly, not as an insult. But he married a woman that was much younger than he was, and they did have some children, and she did apply for his pension later on and received it. He married his wife Amanda in 1887, and they resided on 24th Street here in Parkersburg until his death in 1914. He was buried here with full military honors at Parkersburg Memorial Gardens, where he rests to this day. And it's days like today that we need to get out, place a flag, and remember these brave men and women, in some cases, who served our country honorably during the American Civil War. I thank you very much for joining me today. Take care, God bless, and I will see you at the next Uniformed Historian site.